John Wilson and his wife Adrian have a passion for cooking. But it's just been a lot of fun. Carl Pleasance has a passion for growing on his three and a half acre family field. We try not to waste anything around here, so I, I use what I've been given. The Wilsons met Pleasance while working at a restaurant together. When the restaurant closed down, they lost their jobs. We started talking about farming, and he said, wouldn't it be fun to have a restaurant one day? And I said, no. <laughs> but in March 2018, the three opened one up anyway. In Columbus, it's called the Rural Seed. I would like to say it's upscale comfort food sometimes. And it just depends on what we're feeling. Uh, we depends on what's at the farmer's market or what we have coming out of our field. The field just three miles away where Pleasance grows fruits and vegetables for the restaurant. It also gives us a little bit more leeway to grow the things that we, we use and grow the things that we want to, to serve and enjoy. It's nice because you actually get to see an end product straight from, from the beginning to the end. The radishes you saw Pleasance picking are part of the black bean hummus appetizer. It's utilizing a lot of the vegetables that come from our garden, uh, and we do a nice pickling after we've grilled it, so it gives it a nice refreshing tart taste to it. The shrimp and grits uses local and regional ingredients along with New Orleans tasso ham. And then we saute that off with onions, spinach, shallots, garlic, white wine, and of course fresh North Carolina shrimp. The Caitlin Burger is a six ounce ground chuck patty. Along with a caramelized onion and Monterey Jack cheese, bacon, fried onions, all nestled between an Annie's Bakery sesame crusted bun. The Caitlin Burger is named for nearby Caitlin Farms where Rural Seed gets all of its beef. We're an animal welfare approved farm, so we have a pretty high standard for animal health and care. And people can just ride by our farm and see that our cows are happy and that we're not ruining our land that we keep our cattle on. That's like one of our biggest priorities is to be good stewards of the land. And stewards of consumers too. Caitlin cows are hormone and antibiotic free and grass fed. And we want local businesses and consumers to be the ones that are supporting us and buying our products. And Caitlin Farms returns the favor. So we really like going to restaurants like the Rural Seed where they're sourcing stuff from local businesses all over the county and other counties. So when you go to Rural Seed to eat, do you eat, uh, you know? <laughs> I've had the Caitlin Burger, yeah. <laughs> Rural Seed partners with nearly 20 local suppliers to stay true to its farm to table commitment. That relationship with the farmers is really cool because we've met a lot of young farmers here in the community that are are making differences, are trying to make a difference in their community by raising sustainable beef, sustainable pork, chickens, and uh, it, it's really neat to see the movement and, and to be a part of it. Those relationships bring peace of mind too. I know where the food's coming from, and that's important to us, to know where the food is coming from. Wilson wants his customers to taste the difference. I want them to experience freshness. I want them to experience that difference between what a fresh vegetable tastes like and what a frozen vegetable tastes like. We know the food's real and that it's fresh and that it comes from local farms and it's really delicious. The Rural Seed also goes local with musical performances every Saturday night. This Western North Carolina band is called Zendetta. They are supporting local musicians the same way they support local farmers. And they're good. Yeah, really good. It's all part of the takeaway for Rural Seed customers. I want the customer to feel like they, uh, they experience something different in a small town.